Well, hello there. Martha Fakos. Whoop, motherfucking whoop to anyone tuning into this. If you are watching this right now, hold up a second, Terry. Hold your motherfucking horses, all right? I need you to go to YouTube. YouTube search Ouija Mac Rich Boy Pack, all right? Run that motherfucking shit up. Smash the like button. Set the notify. The video drops in less than 24 hours. By the time some of you are watching this shit, it will already be up. And you can watch that fucking music video from beginning to end and then come back and then watch this stupid video of me pointing my finger at you like this. But hey, shout out to uh, Dellard Boudouin, Dustin Sauce, James Thrasher, Patrick Cates, Kenny Burns, whoop whoop, Jamie Strickland, Eric Boblet, Ben Igo, James Robbins, Patrick Cates. I said that already. I said that motherfucker. He got two shout outs. Shout out to Patrick Cates for the third time. Whoop motherfucking whoop. If you just heard your name, it's because you got on this live first. And that's what I do. I read the first motherfuckers that come up in here. So next time, be faster, Terry. Yeah. Shout out to Daniel Norton. How y'all motherfuckers doing for real? Are you guys excited for the music video tomorrow? Because I'm fucking excited. I can't wait to watch that shit live. The live premiere of the brand new single from Detritus. Detritus is coming, Terry. Don't fuck this up. The video premiere for Rich Boy Pack is tomorrow. All you got to do is go on my YouTube channel. YouTube search Ouija Mac. All right? Set that fucking reminder. Let's get it. God damn it. Let's fucking get it. Juggalo Balls Network presents the Spaded Juggalo Balls. Go ahead, son. First of all, first and foremost, first and fucking foremost, if you haven't pre-saved Detritus yet, pre-save, pre-order, all that shit, Detritus is coming, Leonard. There's a link at the caption of this post for all of the shit I'm about to discuss, all right? Detritus is available for pre-order on iTunes. We have like 210 pre-orders with five-star reviews. The goal is 300. So if you're watching this shit and you have an Apple device, get on fucking iTunes, pre-order that shit, leave a five-star review, because I'm going to read all the reviews when we hit 250 and when we hit 300. So make sure you get your review in. Whatever you say in that iTunes review, I'm going to read it. All right? So pre-order Detritus on iTunes, leave a five-star review, and after you do that, send a screenshot of your pre-order in a text message to this phone number, 702-845-1505. Rumor has it, if you text a screenshot to that phone number, something crazy will happen. And there's about 400 motherfuckers who can confirm what I just said. Um, what else? The gathering of the Juggalos is nearly upon us. Happening a little earlier in the year than last year. The gathering is coming up fast. All right? You're going to blink your fucking eyes and wake up and it's going to be here. Prepare yourself for the fucking 23rd gathering of the Juggalos. Gathering of the Juggalos 2023 is coming. And I'm doing some fucking dope ass shit at the gathering this year. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you're a scroll keeper, get ready for the gathering this year. Um, what else? The meet and greets. There is a limited, exclusive, motherfucking, only 300 copies of this fucking rare CD. There's a super fucking rare CD that you get if you get a meet and greet for the gathering. So make sure you tap the link on the caption of this post and look for the gathering meet and greet. Secure your Ouija Mac Gathering of the Juggalos meet and greet if you want that limited edition CD. There's only 300 of them bitches, and I'm never pressing them up again. All right? This is something special for the motherfuckers that's going to hang with my ugly ass at the Gathering of the Juggalos. Only 300 copies exist. 
It is a final pressing of a very rare piece of music. Not for the hype beasts, not for the busters. What else? There's a tour about to start. The Ouija Knievel USA tour is about to start, William. Let me just get a sip of my coffee. Ah, that is nice. You goddamn. Hot goddamn. What's up, Justin Mayan? How the fuck you doing with them four flame emojis? I see you, player. See you in this bitch. If you're watching this right now, I need you to drop a whoop whoop in the fucking comments. Don't play with me. Smash the like button. Smash them hearts down there. All right. Share this live to your fucking Facebook feed or whatever the fuck it's called. Share this shit. Start a watch party. I'm about to play some unreleased shit. For your grandma. God damn it. Because she wants it. As soon as I figure out how to make this shit not be fucked up. I'm not a smart man, all right? Not a smart man, never was, probably never will be. But before that, let's talk about the Ouija Knievel USA Tour. It's starting out April 7th in Phoenix, Arizona, all right? Tickets and meet and greets for every one of these dates that I'm about to tell you. Every single date on this tour, the tickets and meet and greets are available at the link on the caption of this post. Click that link and then just click the Ouija Knievel USA shit. The meet and greet button is there and all of these dates are there. The ticket links are fucking there. Do not sleep on this shit. Tell your grandma. Tell your Uncle Gary. Get everybody you give a fuck about and tell them what they're doing on these dates. They're coming with you to the Ouija Knievel USA tour. God damn it. Shout out to Wichita. All right, so April 7th, we in Phoenix, Arizona at Pub Rock. April 8th, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada for the Ouija Mac Homecoming Show. For those of you who don't know, I'm from Las Vegas, and Las Vegas is going to be a fucking crazy one. Make sure if you're traveling to a show that you're traveling to the Las Vegas show. April 8th, Las Vegas, Nevada, we at Dive Bar. April 10th. We're in Sacramento, California at the Starlet Room. April 11th, we in Fresno, California at Full Circle Brewing. April 12th, we in Reno, Nevada at Alturas. April 14th, we're in Salt Lake City in fucking DJ Chunk's backyard. I need to see all my chunkalos in that bitch. We in Salt Lake City, April 14th at the Metro Music Hall. April 15th, Denver, Colorado at the Roxy Theater with scum and insane poetry. My dudes, turn up to that motherfucking show. If you're anywhere in Denver, pull the fuck up there, Randy. April 17th, we in Wichita, Kansas for the 17th. You know any show on a 17th is about to be lit at Barley Corns. April 19th, we in Memphis 10 at Growlers. April 20th, we in Atlanta, Georgia at the Masquerade. That shit is about to be crazy, all right? That shit is about to be a fucking movie, I can tell you right now. Atlanta, I have missed you, and I cannot fucking wait for that show at the Masquerade. Hot God damn it. April 24th, 21st, excuse me, the release day of Detritus. We will be in Chapel Hill, North Carolina at the local 506 for the fucking first day of detritus. Ooh, April 22nd, Virginia Beach at Scandals Live. Um, April 23rd, we will be in Jacksonville, North Carolina at Hooligans Live. Pull the fuck up, North Carolina. Be there. April 25th, we're in Tampa, Florida at the Crowbar. My homie FJ Outlaw will be on that show. That show will go stupid. I can already fucking tell you. April 27th, we in Fort Walton Beach, Florida at the Downtown Music Hall. And I know for a fact that Fort Walton Beach, Florida is a weird, funky place out in the middle of nowhere. And we're going to get people from all different directions coming to that bitch. That show's about to be crazy. Don't miss that show. If you're anywhere in the vicinity of Fort Walton Beach, get your ass to that show. Let's have a motherfucking backwoods juggalo party in that bitch. I will see you at Fort Walton Beach, Florida. We got some special guests on that show. Some special guests that I'm not going to tell you. But just know that there's some fucking 
legendary juggalo artist on that show. See you in Fort Walton Beach, Florida, April 27th. April 28th, we in New Orleans, Louisiana, at the GOAT. And it's been a long fucking time since I've been to NOLA. I'm excited as fuck to be back in New Orleans. That shit about to be crazy. April 30th, we're in Springfield, Missouri at the Outland Ballroom, Terry. Um, May 2nd, we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the Shrine. May 3rd, we are in Austin fucking Texas. Texas Juggalos, where the fuck you at? If you're a juggalo and you're in Texas and you don't make your way to Austin, Texas for the crazy ass fucking show we about to do in Austin fucking Texas, you're missing out, Terry. That's on you. That's your bad. You're going to be the guy who has to see it on the internet and go, damn, I could have just drove to Austin, Texas. I could have just been there. I could have been a part of juggalo history. I could have seen Ouija Knievel in Austin, Texas. Don't be that guy. Don't be the guy with a whole luggage bag full of regrets. Be the motherfucker that hopped in the whip and pulled up to Austin fucking Texas. All right? Be there May 3rd, Austin, Texas at Come and Take It Live. And that's what a real motherfucker's gonna do. Come and Take It Live. May 4th, for the last show of the tour, the finale of the fucking Ouija Knievel tour, we are in Houston, Texas at the White Oak Music Hall. And if you're in Austin, which I know you will be if you're a Texas juggalo, you'll figure out how to get to Austin. You will also figure out how to get your ass to Houston fucking Texas. We got two Texas dates on this tour and I need to see every juggalo from Texas at those two dates so that the Texas promoters realize how big our juggalo balls are and next time I come to Texas, I have four stops in Texas. No matter where you are in Texas, come to these two shows. Show your motherfucking face and tell us where you came from. Because that's where we're going to come next time we come to Texas. We did the same thing in Ohio. Motherfuckers showed up and we rolled deep through Ohio. Make sure if you are a Texas juggalo, if you are a Texas citizen that rocks with Ouija Mac, you pull the fuck up to those two Texas dates. Let's go fucking crazy. Let's let them know that Texas is a juggalo place. And let's fucking turn the fuck up. Above all else, the Ouija Knievel tour is coming. Tickets are available. Meet and greets are available at the link at the top of this fucking post. Be a Gary, not a Terry, if you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Also arrested a Largo man for possessing... And conspiring, uh, conspiring to kidnap it. Yeah, yeah, bitch. this live right now and you didn't go to my youtube channel and set a notification smash the like button and drop a fucking whoop whoop in the comments of the video premiere you are fucking up brand new music video drops tomorrow all right 
Rich Boy Pack music video drops to fucking morrow. There is a live premiere. There will be juggalos from all over the world attending this live premiere. We will all be in the chat making dick and fart jokes, and you should fucking be there. Don't miss this opportunity to fucking hang out with the fam in a goddamn live premiere video chat dealy fucking jobber. Detritus is coming. Don't fucking sleep on detritus because you're only sleeping on yourself. I'm telling you now, detritus drops April 21st. This is your opportunity to get down with the get down. There is a fucking gang of dope ass merch at chapter17.com. We got t-shirts, hoodies, long sleeves, bandanas, fucking signed CDs. I think the signed CDs might be sold out. You might can help me with that. Go to chapter17.com. See if there's any signed CDs left. I know there was not very many left the last time we looked. Uh, I signed a thousand of them, and they are almost gone. Some of this merch will be sold out by the time you even watch this fucking live. And definitely by the time Detritus drops. Uh, supplies are getting low. This shit is all rare as fuck. If you want some Detritus merch, if you want that ill-ass Scroll Keepers merch, you need to go to chapter17.com, write motherfucking meow, and secure the bag. Get you a physical pre-order. Also, if you send a screenshot of your physical pre-order to this phone number right here, send a screenshot if you order something from ouijimac.com, from chapter17.com. Send a screenshot to this phone number. See what the fuck happens, Terry. See what happens. Many will call. Few will hear the calling. Join us. Scroll keepers are standing by. Gary. Yeah. Devin Karn, I can't wait for you to get that signed CD in the mail. Straight up. Your excitement is recognized. I'm excited as fuck too, honestly. I haven't been this proud of an album, I don't think, in a while. Um, everybody has their opinions, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, what's your guys' favorite Ouija Mac album? Let me know in the comments. What's your favorite Ouija Mac album out of all of them? If you had to pick one album to take with you to go be locked in a room for like two days, which album would you take? Which album would help you survive? Let me know. I'm interested. Let's see in the comments what your favorite Ouija Mac album is. I would love to hear from you. Gary. I think mine is Fallen Angelic, honestly. That one just has a special place in my heart. I really like that one a lot. But Detritus is coming in hot. And is like literally drop kicking every Ouija Mac album I've ever made. It's just drop kicking it right in the nuts. Detritus, about to steal the crown, I think. Can't lie. John Gill, Pretty Ugly 2. That's yours. Pretty Ugly 2. Josh Moore says Hell's Hollow Tape. Damn. All right. Okay. All right. Hell's Hollow Tape is a valid answer, I guess. Still Wind. I fuck with that answer. 
it's a close tie for me. Like it was anyway. It was a close tie for me with uh, Stale Wind and Fallen Angelic. You know, just as a juggalo, not as as Ouija Mac, just as a juggalo listening to music. I really, really like Fallen Angelic a lot. But Detritus, though, dog, Detritus is taking the cake. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Detritus is no motherfucking hoe. You'll see. The proof is in the pudding and the pudding party is about to get popping real soon. April 21st. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Zodiac. That's not a common answer. You know, Zodiac is like all freestyle. Zodiac, I didn't write none of that shit. Zodiac was just me hanging out at the homie's uh, studio in the back of a tattoo shop. And I was just basically like freestyling to beats and shit. And like the homie was chopping up the freestyles and turning them into songs. Zodiac is a really rare album. Very strange, very different. It's a departure, if you will, from what I was typically doing at that time. Zodiac is not an answer I expected to see when I asked what your favorite album was. But that's tight, though. Very fresh. God damn it. Hey, hey, you. You watching this right now? Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, Terry. Throw you one of them whoop, whoops in the comments. Right there. Right down there. Do it. Do it. Fucking do it. Gav Lynch. I don't have a usually writing process, my dude. My my writing process is usually this. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. That's my writing process. I write audibly. Alone. I like to be alone. Um, it's not like common like i feel like a lot of rappers be like sitting in a studio with like 300 of their homies in there you know what i'm saying not me when i'm in the studio it's a very intimate process i don't like to have a bunch of motherfuckers in there my writing process is typically me alone because that's how the shit started for me um the, like art for me is not like I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people, for a lot of people, it's like, you know, a job where like they go into the studio hoping to come out with an album, like a product that they can go out and sell to people. And for me, I'm making art to survive this fucking life. I'm making art to like cope with existing on earth as a soul trapped inside of a corpse. So, like, I just do that a lot and then eventually wrangle the result of that into an album, if that makes sense. So, my writing process is typically me just by myself, alone, with my thoughts and my feelings. Um, but Zodiac was made like a cool guy rapper album. Like, there was a bunch of homies there. We were all just kicking it, smoking, being stupid, and having fun and shit. So it was like a more of a, uh, more of like a letting people in to my, my area while I'm creating, which I don't really do that much. The only motherfuckers that I really let into my zone like that is like, you know, like Violin J and Shaggy, you know, like I let them into my process and, uh, they let me into their process. Like they're like some of the only motherfuckers that I'll actually kick it in the studio with, unless we're collaborating. If we're not collaborating, you ain't got no business in the studio with me. I'm doing some spiritual shit. I'm doing some, like, some personal shit. Um, I'm not big on, like, let's all hang out at the studio and not get nothing done, you know? But the Zodiac album was very much that. It was very much, like, motherfuckers knocking shit over while I'm recording and shit. Um, can't even see through the blunt smoke type of session, which is just different. I don't usually create like that. Which made that just a different record. I feel like it sounds different, if that makes any sense. Call your mom. Call your motherfucking mom. Gary. Shout out to DJ Chunk. I just want to thank DJ Chunk right now. If Chunk is watching, Chunk, I love you, dog. Um, 
For those of you who don't know, DJ Chunk is the greatest DJ in the world. Um, who is like on that list as well. Like one of the very few people that I let into my creative process, like sit with me while I make music and shit, like a part of the record. And DJ Chunk is very much a part of detritus. Um, DJ Chunk shines on detritus. And this is kind of an example of that right here. Juggalo Balls Network presents the Spain Juggalo Balls. Go ahead, son. Big up DJ Chunk. It ain't shit. Wicked like this. Wicked, wicked shit. Color me sick. Color me psycho. Chapter 17 is set. I kill a convulsion with the shit. I got compulsion for the lip. Demon semen in my testicles and dripping from my dick. Hold up, bitch. Hatch your blade. Sharp as fuck and I'ma chop the party up. Run the fade if I must. Don't be talking like you tough. Pussy hating on us. Seven hands. Them a jump. Well, wicked, wicked, well. I'm not even ready. Get ready to have a new favorite album, motherfucker. Get ready for that. If you haven't pre-ordered Detritus on iTunes or from chapter17.com and sent a screenshot of your pre-order to the hotline, you are running out of time. The Scroll Keepers Academy is closing its doors on 417. Your final chance to join the Scroll Keepers, to be a part of a fucking secret society of juggalos, is coming to an end. You have until the 17th of April to join us. Don't fuck up this opportunity because you won't get another one. The Scroll Keepers Academy is calling you now. Pre-order Detritus on iTunes. Leave a five-star review. Pre-order Detritus at chapter17.com while you still can. And send that motherfucking screenshot to that motherfucking hotline. Don't fuck this up. You will not get another opportunity to join us. Whoop, whoop. Blah.